Hello there, my name is Jason and welcome to another episode of The Sampling Room. Today I'll be uh, doing Cobb Tuesday. Now, I am obviously just got my normal, see that corn cob pipe, and I am drinking one of these. 5.8% um, IPA, Azimuth by Hard Knot. Which is actually really, 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 well, it's not extremely, but it's a pretty hoppy bit. Very, very nice. Nice light in colour, unfiltered. Nice palate quen quenching, quite a fruity beer. I am smoking uh, a GQ's blend burper cake. Comes in, it's basically a plug, but it's loaded with coarse cut tobacco and it's compressed in distilled water. Get this up for well, Cobb Tuesday. Oh, that is a very nice tobacco. So GQ's blend burp cake. It's made of um, Burley, Perique, and Virginia, and this uh, the Perique percentage in this is actually at twenty five percent. So it's quite a high percentage, so it's quite spicy. Very spicy. Well, not spicy, it's more like, like a kind of like a black pepper type spice to it. Um, and it's got a maple casing, but I have to admit, I can't taste a huge amount of that. Could be because of my beer. Lots of smoke, oh, quite nice. Ooh. Scratch that's very nice. And quite a pleasant room aroma as well. Straight out of the packet, I mean, it crumbles up to something like this. Quite easily crumbled, perfect dryness. I actually bought it um, from the GQ's tobacco website as a 10 gram sample, which that's why one of the reasons why I get most of my things from the GQ Tobacco's website. And I'll probably do a box opening next time for that when I do another order. But I bought a 10 gram sample, which is at £2.50. And I'm probably going to get some more of this as well, because it's quite nice. Nice Very nice. It's, one, it's probably not something I smoke every day. Because I quite like English, Moorish English, English blends. But still, very nice. So yeah, Cobb Tuesday, very first time we've ever done a Cobb Tuesday. I thought I'd participate in the uh, uh, tobacco smokers uh, community and YouTube, which I have to admit I've only just joined um, doing proper pipe tobacco um, videos. But I'm loving the uh, the communication between everybody, you know, the banter backwards and forwards. It's a really friendly community. I really appreciate everybody giving me a nice, warm welcome. Actually, <clears throat> now um, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. If I can get a minute for stop smoking this. I've got quite a few um, upcoming videos that I'll be doing especially towards uh, the Christmas end, when I actually do a load more orders, because I've done a few recently. I'll be doing some uh, box opening videos, obviously. Uh, so I'll do quite a few, a few more reviews, and just general chats and things like that. Um, and obviously a load of beer reviews and things like that as well, like I'm kind of doing now. <clears throat> These beers, I have to admit, do clash a little bit, but to be honest, I don't really care. I like a beer and I like a life tobacco. So, as it is Cobb Tuesday, um, I probably won't get the video out um, straight away on the Tuesday. It'll be sometime during that week because it's getting pretty late now. I'm absolutely shattered. I probably won't get time to edit it as well and upload it. Yeah, 
just um, I've always had Zippos, but so I've got a normal uh, proper pipe dedicated Zippo with the but uh, not butane with the uh, normal liquid never say this is the separate butane insert which I quite like because you don't get the uh, normal taste or the typical uh, butane fluid taste oh, brain farts but yeah um, that all the uh, stock tobers coming up I think I'm uh, good on people I think for um, actually you know smoke stop smoking for October and it gives them a bit of an incentive but there's also um was it sober tober whatever it's called or go sober for October whatever it's called I think you know these are nice little incentives but the people that do smoke uh, like pipes or cigars are kind of stigmatized under the same you know, you're a dirty cigarette smoker, or, or you know, what, if you want to smoke a cigarette, smoke cigarettes. But granted, it's not bloody vices. It's not good for you. Well, neither is anything <laughs> nowadays. But don't necessarily stigmatise people for it as well. And to be honest with you, there's so many of these dedicated months nowadays for stopping doing this or stopping doing that. Out bollocks. Or um, basically, just get on with your life. If you want to cut down, cut down. If you want to stop, stop. I don't see why you have to have a dedicated month for it. And if you want to dedicate, uh, if you want to donate to charity, donate to charity. But people that carry on either smoking through it or drinking through it, which I, I do like a nice drink as well. Especially I've got my beer fest, uh, my local beer and cider festival coming up this month, so quite looking forward to that. As I always say, I mean, just get on with it <laughs> and stop bothering me that I should be doing this or I should be doing that for this specific month. Even though I sometimes try and participate in um, the Movember or No Shave November, but I'll do that anyway. <laughs> so I don't necessarily need a month of it, it's just a bloody good excuse to look scruffy for a bit. I can't really grow a mustache, must proper mustache anyway, so not all that bothered. Yeah, please don't hesitate though to comment or if you've got any questions, especially about pipe tobacco and things like that, down below because there's you have quite a nice backwards and forwards of the pipe community as well. And check out some of the other pipe videos from different people you see online as well because there's some crackers out there as well, especially stateside. I've had a nice backwards and forwards, some nice chaps around the pond, from over the pond, sorry. So yeah. Yeah, this tobacco though, it's um, got quite a sweetness to it, a caramel malty sweetness. I have to admit, if you've got a sore throat, don't touch this. Because <laughs> I know it's probably not the best time for me to actually have a pipe, but um, I've got a sore throat in the moment and uh, definitely not doing it any good, especially with the break in it. Also, one last item. Um, if you come from the like southeast way, like Kent, you know, like the Canterbury, Dover, um, Deal, Folkestone, Hythe, well, and surrounding areas, I'm thinking of starting a pipe club up soon because there's nothing like that around our way. I'm thinking of uh, thinking of meeting up what once or twice a month to have a smoke. Have a chat and have a, have a drink or something in a local pub garden or something like that. So, anybody uh, would be interested in that that comes from this way, give us a shout. You know, uh, PM us, put a little comment down below, or visit on my visit me on one of my um, Instagrams or you know social medias and things like that. Give us a shout. Also, definitely pick up. One of the, turn it the right way around, it might help. I highly doubt it's going to focus on it. Um, GQ Blends Burba Cake. Definitely pick this up, especially if you like a nice, especially it's very spicy actually. Very black peppery, actually, it's got quite a bit of white pepper on as well. Definitely pick one of the, um, you know, sample pack of this up anyway and give it a go. So, thank you very much for watching. 
My name is Jason from a new episode of The Sampling Room. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, ask me any questions you like, PM me, and subscribe and check me out on one of my social media platforms. Cheers then, bye.